Hi guys, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. You know I love having all of you. Hope your day is going well so far. On my side, it's already New Year's Eve in Central Europe. However, due to the situation, everything is closed, no gatherings. So I thought, oh my God, this is the perfect opportunity to just spend the day playing around with makeup. I have rearranged my stash of perfumes. I went and did a lot of decluttering and I said I would end the day by doing a full face of Lisser Eldridge. I do have some products that I did pick up during the Black Friday sale, the Liquid Luster um, eyeshadows, which I have not tested. So I am gonna do a full face with the foundation, the eyeshadows. I am going to swap all my not swap. <laughs> I am going to swatch all of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and lip liners. I also have the blush. For those of you who follow me, you know I really love the products from Lisa Eldridge. I find them so easy to apply and generally well formulated. I am gonna start with the foundation. I have a mirror in front of me so <laughs> if I'm looking down I'm just looking into the mirror. I'm wearing my contacts and those of you who are regulars on this channel you know how I am fighting with this because they are still not able until now to get the prescription correct. It's either I can read well or I can see well. A combination of the both I have not received as yet. Okay, so I am going to apply the foundation using my BK Beauty foundation brush. I have gone ahead already and done my eyes. I love this foundation. It goes on so well. What I love best about this foundation brush from BK Beauty is the manner in which it applies a foundation under the eye area. I did try the Christian Dior um, serum foundation a while back and I still do have a bit of a mark from the blemish which was left behind. So I am just going to add a bit more foundation on here. And a bit more around the mouth area. We're not going anywhere tonight, so yeah. The Lisa Eldridge foundation, I tend not to set it with any powder because it is just lovely without. This is the way the foundation is looking. I have already done two reviews of this foundation. I already went ahead prior to applying the foundation and I prepped my skin with my La Roche-Posay Hualaron Soire Serum, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really love this one. It's one of my favorites and it functions nicely under all of 
my foundations i have not had any problems so far okay now we will move on to blush i do have the lisa eldridge blush in island glow the color looks like this and i do prefer to add this blush with my hands and then to go over it and perfect it with a brush this is a lovely blush it's very hard to overdo this it adds a lovely flush of color on the cheeks I love this blush. I want to see a lot of it on my face when I am using it. Actually, this is even more perfect <laughs> in the summer, but it's the only blush I own from Lisa Eldridge. The sortiment of colors that she had with the blush launch were quite limited this is one of the products i am really hoping that she would expand on this is a cream blush here yeah, which is not my favorite type of blush it would be awesome if she would come out with a uh, normal powder blushes oh my god i forgot bronzer but i will go ahead and add just a little bit of bronzer underneath of the blush just to add a bit of definition yeah a little bit on the chin area on to the star of the evening the products that I have not tried yet, it is the liquid eyeshadows. This is Liza and this is Angelica. I did introduce those in my unboxing part two, I believe. I will link the video on top based on the information in lisa's uh, video at the time of the launching the liza is a charcoal angelica is a silvery taupe a more neutral brown i chose these two colors because lisa did do in her introductory video a look using these two colors actually she also claimed that using these liquid eyeshadows should be even quicker than putting on mascara so we will see she did add them most of the time with her hands so i will use this same method tonight so this is angelica and i am going to do the same look that she did and here we go let's hope it works just as easy for me as it did for her so we are going to add a small dab of color I give myself some <laughs> inner corner highlight with it, but this is fine. Ah, this goes on quite smoothly. And yeah, it does dry very quick. Oh, I love this color on my eye. And it does dry quickly. And for the second part of this look, she actually added Liza to the outer V with a brush. So, I am really liking Angelica 
the way it just looks alone by itself. Let us see. I don't want to add too much. She did do this look on a model with very deep skin, dark skin, and it was gorgeous. Wow, I really, really love the consistency of these shadows. But I must say, when layering them, it is necessary to work quickly. I will go ahead and add a little bit on my hands, let's see if this works, to line the under eye the same way that Lisa Eldridge did in her idol. I don't want to do too much. Lisa did not do this, but I will go ahead and add some Angelica to the inner corner. I mean, I made a mess when applying it uh, in the beginning, so I think this would look very, very nice. Yeah, indeed. Okay, guys, so this is my finished eye look. Angelica and Liza combined. I am loving it. <laughs> so I will go ahead and finish the rest of my eyes and then I will come back. Okay guys, I have gone ahead and added some mascara. I am wearing my uh, Victoria Beckham mascara. I have fallen so hard for this mascara, you have no idea. I am very satisfied with this eye look. I must say the uh, Liquid Lorex eyeshadow, it went on very smooth. I was able to apply it quickly and I think they are quite lovely for doing one eyeshadow looks, yeah? So now it's time for the lip swatches. I am totally beyond myself because I have never done a lip swatch video and I have, <laughs> I think it's a lot of work. This is what everyone says, but I will get through it. Okay, the first one up is Atomic Cherry. This is part of the Luxuriously Lucent Lip Color Series. This is really not my favorite uh, formula from Lisa Eldridge. I got one and I have not bought any more of those. I was wearing this color during the first segment. On me, this is more of a lip gloss and I think it's because I have more deep pigmented lips. I will not invest in any more of lipsticks in this formula. Actually, I do like the, the Gucci lipsticks in this uh, Velvet Shine type of formula a lot better. Next up, we have Velvet Morning and this is from the normal Velvet Lipstick uh, Formula collection. This is really one for, I would say, high summer. This color is a little bit sometimes tricky Next up is Velvet Ribbon. 
and also I do have the matching uh, lip liner. This is one of my favorite lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge. The lip liners from Lisa Eldridge, they are so silky and smooth. I love using this for overlining the lips sometimes because it always looks so nice. This is Velvet Ribbon and the Velvet Ribbon Lip Liner. This is such a beautiful red lipstick. It is just perfection. I love this very much. Next up is Velvet Myth. I have to be a little bit careful. Actually, this lipstick came broken and I wasn't in the mood for packing it and sending it back. So I did keep it. It is also a lovely uh, burgundy red color. This is another one of my loves from Lisa Eldridge. I love this color because I can wear it comfortably all year round. Velvet Myth is really nice, honestly. This one I get a lot of use out of. Next one up is Velvet Jazz. This is another beautiful color which can be worn all year round, but I love this especially in the fall. <laughs> and I think it goes very nicely with this eye look. Next up is Velvet Cinnabar. This is a new one this year. This really looks like velvet on the lips. I don't think I have any other lipsticks similar to this one. I think the closest I have to this is Janet Rust by Gucci. But Janet Rust is a bit more on the orange side. Next up is Velvet Dragon. This is a lipstick I have always wanted from Lisa Eldridge and it was always sold out and I was finally able to pick it up this fall. Lovely, lovely orange color lipstick. This is Velvet Dragon. It is actually one of the best-selling lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge. And I think you can see why. This is really lovely. Mm. And last on the list, it is Velvet Decade. and the Velvet Decade Matching Lip Liner. This is the lipstick that Lisa did pair this eye look with. 
So now you can get the complete picture. Velvet Decade is actually a very versatile lip liner. I actually pair this with a lot of my deeper lipsticks. This is the lip liner alone. And now with the lipstick. <laughs> this is Velvet Decade and the Velvet Decade lip liner. This is the finished look. I am very satisfied. I think the claims from Lisa Eldridge that these uh, eyeshadows go on quite easily is true. Thank you for sticking this out with me. If you guys have not subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate some comments. If the video was useful to you, please give me a thumbs up. I wish you guys a happy new year and all the best for fiscal year 22.